VBA stands for Visual Basic for Application. VBA is an event-driven programming language of Microsoft application like Excel, Word, Access, which can automate several tasks like generating reports, preparing charts and graphs, doing calculations, etc. Hi, welcome back to Excel in Life. Thank you for your continuous support to my channel. Considering your demand, today onwards I am starting VBA tutorial series. Keep watching this series, you will learn basic to advanced usage of VBA. If you have not yet subscribed, then please subscribe to this channel to bring such wonderful tutorial for you and click the bell button to get the notification of upcoming tutorials. In this episode we will cover following topics. Opening Visual Basic Editor. Know your VB Editor. Add, Rename, Remove Module. Record First Macro. Debug VBA Code. Saving Workbook with VBA Code. The Visual Basic Editor can be opened through Developer tab. You can open Developer tab multiple way. Number 1. File Option Customize Ribbon. Then check Developer tab. Number 2. Right click on Ribbon. Select Customize Ribbon, then check Developer tab. You can also get from Customize Quick Access Toolbar. More command Customize Ribbon Check Developer tab. Once you are in Developer tab, click Visual Basic button to open Visual Basic Editor. VB Editor can also be opened by pressing Alt plus F11. By default you will see Visual Basic Editor like this where Project Explorer and Properties window will be visible. Project Explorer displays list of open workbook, VBA project item associated with that workbook. Properties window displays property of the item selected. If this window get deleted accidentally, you can bring them back from menu. View, Project Explorer, or pressing shortcut key Ctrl plus R. View, Properties window or pressing shortcut key F4. You can dock this window, or place this, as per your requirement. By double-clicking this window you can place to its default location. By default standard toolbar is selected. You can add additional toolbar as per your choice. You can switch to Excel workbook by clicking Excel button in the editor or by pressing shortcut key Alt plus F11. You can also switch between Excel and VB editor by pressing shortcut key Alt plus Tab. To add module, right click on VBA project then go to Insert, then click Module. Now you can see that Module 1 is inserted in the project. Best way to add is click Insert menu and select Module. You can also insert user form like this. To rename a module, click the module and change the name in Properties window. 
Remember, module name should not have space. You can use underscore if required. To remove a module, right-click on it and click Remove Module. Select No to export. To record macro, go to Developer tab, then click Record Macro. Type name of the macro. Now macro is recording. Let us write something and format bold. All our action is getting recorded. Let us stop recording. Now go to VBA editor. In our VBA project, a new module has been inserted. Let us understand each line of code. Name of the macro. This select range G5. This writes the text in the selected cell. By default Excel select next cell after pressing enter. Setting column width to auto fit. Again selecting G5. Now setting the font bold. All these instructions are written in a macro named my first macro using VBA. To automate the work, we can execute all these instructions by running this macro. Select the macro from the list and click Run. Immediately all the activities will be executed. To debug code, go to Debug menu. Click Step into or press F8. It will execute each line of code at a time. File extension with macro is XLSM. While saving select the extension XLSM, otherwise code will not be saved. Text Tools is a software written in VBA. This is most useful software. You can change case in a range of cell. You can add text. You can delete text and do lot of other things. Next episode onwards I will teach you how to write this software step by step. Till then goodbye.